Hello guys, this is JNM with a new ZBrush video about live boolean and handling of subtools. I start here with a project in which I have two subtools, this kind of sphere and this beveled object here above. What I'm going to do now is to append a new subtool and this will be a cylinder. And I will use this to cut into the second subtool by using live boolean. Okay, here's the cylinder, now I rotate and scale this. When you hold the shift key down and rotate, you do this in 5 degree steps, I use this a lot. And I position it using the gizmo so that I can cut into the object. Okay, that size and position is fine, live boolean is already enabled, you can do this using this button. And the only thing I have to do now is to set the new tool that I added to subtract. Okay, and since live boolean is enabled, you can see the difference operation in the live preview. Alright, now let me go to the subtool above and you can see there is a start tag that you can enable and disable. And this indicates that the boolean operation will affect all the subtools below. You could also add more subtools and again add start tags for them. This means you are creating groups of subtool operations in your subtool list, but I'll come back to this in a moment. Okay, I move this subtool now to the left and a bit upwards. And after that, I'm going to duplicate the mesh of the subtool. And you can do this by holding the control key down and move it with the gizmo. And still you have this live boolean preview, but what I want to do now is I want to make a boolean mesh, I want to apply the boolean operation. To do this you go down here to the boolean and choose make boolean mesh. And after you did this the tool is generated, but you don't see it in your subtool list. So I open the tools and select it, it is this one here. And now let's have a look at the subtool list. You still have the sphere as own subtool because it was not included in the boolean group. And for the other two objects, a new boolean mesh is created. And now I'll come back to the start tag and groups for live boolean. For each of these live boolean groups that start with a start tag that you can activate, a new boolean mesh is created and added to the subtools when you press make boolean mesh. And this is what I wanted to point out in this video and I hope it was understandable. If you liked the video and my channel then don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching, thanks for your support, perhaps you consider supporting me on my Patreon. This would really help me creating more of these tutorials and I'll see you in the next one.